today I'm going to explain and discuss about the concept of the sunset and the proper sunset. Okay? The concept of the sunset and the proper sunset. Okay, so let's go first to the concept of the subset. Okay, so the concept of the subset is this one. Yeah, okay. So, sabi daw, if A and B are sets, then A is called a subset of B. So, if only if, every element of A is also element of B. Okay, that's the concept of that uh, subset. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay. So, set A is with an element of A, B, C, D, and set B is with an element of C, A, B, D. Okay. So, we can say that uh, A is a subset of B. Okay. So, A, okay. A is a subset of B. By the way, the, the symbol of the subset is this one. Okay. So, para siya naka, um, para siya naka, Nakahiga na yun. So, ganyan. So, nakahiga sa na yun na meron siyang dash. That's the, meron siyang dash na baba. So, that's the um, symbol of the uh, subset. Okay? Symbol of the subset. So, for this example, okay, we can say that um, A is a subset of B because, uh, as we observe, okay, kung magpapansin natin, every element of A is also element of B. Every element of A is also present in set B. So, then natin, we have, uh, meron ditong uh, A, then A, B, then B, then C, C, then D. So, we can say that A is a uh, subset of B. Okay, that's the concept. So, uh, kapag ano siya, kapag subset siya, kailangan lahat ng element sa A, uh, for instance, this one, lahat ng elements sa A ay meron din sa, sa B, set B. So, ganun. Okay. So, that's the concept of the um, subset. So, proper subset. So, um, move on to the proper subset. The difference between um, that two is that in proper subset, in proper subset, um, let A and B uh, sets, so assuming that A and B are sets, A is a proper subset of A is a proper subset of B. If every element of A is also in uh, in B, but there is at least one element of A that is not in B. Okay, that's the proper subset. So this one and this one. Okay? So uh, every element of A is in B, but there is at least one element of um, B that is not in A. So, for instance, um, set A is A, B, C, D, then um, A, B, C, D, E, for instance. Um, okay. So, for instance, meron na yung sample natin yan. So, ang B is meron na siyang E. Okay, yeah. So, we can say that uh, A is a proper subset of B if Every element of A is in B, but there is at least one element of um, B that is not in A. So we can say that for this example, um, A is a proper subset of B. So the so proper subset, um, um symbol niya is, ang ganito lang, so makaigana siya na yun na wala siyang dash. Unlike sa proper su uh, sa subset, wala siyang dash sa baba. Okay, so ito siya, proper subset is ganito lang, makaigana niya. U. Okay. So A, so this one, we can see that A is a, a proper subset of B. B because, kung uh, papansinin natin, lahat ng elements na ito ay matatagpuan natin sa B. Okay? Lahat ng elements na ito ay matatagpuan natin sa B. So ngayon, uh, meron lang at uh, meron lang elements na sa B na wala sa A. Okay? So, yun naman kay B nila. So, we can say that B as a proper subset of B. So, as we said, meron dito uh, uh, one element na wala sa A. So, ganun na. Ang, so, madaling salita, um, ang, pro ang subset, uh, ang proper subset ay um, para siyang part of. Okay? Part of. You can say that 
proper subset is a part of. So we can say that uh, A is part of B. Okay? Kasi ang um, lahat ng elements na ito ay nandoon sa okay, nandoon sa set B. Lahat ng elements na ito ay nandoon sa set B. So para siyang, we can say that A is part of B. So A is subset, a proper subset of B. So part lang siya. So parang siya lang, part lang ng part siya ng way mo. Okay, so yan. So yan ang concept na uh, subset, pati proper subset. So tandaan lang natin sa kailangan sa subset. Sa subset is every element of the first set is also element of the second set. Sa proper subset naman, uh, every element of the first set is also in second set, but there is at least one element in second set that is not in the first set. Ganun lang. So, tricky, no? So, medyo confused lang. So, yun lang ang kaibahan niya. Yan. Yeah.